Heightsville kids, I'm Pastor Julia. Today, I'm wondering if you like crayons. Crayons are one of my favorite things to do arts and crafts with, um, and I especially loved when I was a kid getting a new fresh box of crayons to take to school, especially one of these that have a lot of colors and have that sharpener in the back. Really, really fun. What's your favorite color of crayon? Some of my favorites are Purple Mountain Majesty, and my favorite of all time, and this it only comes in some boxes, is Razzle Dazzle Rose. It's super awesome. Well, when I was in elementary school, we would all share our crayons. And, you know, I really didn't mind. In fact, I really liked when one of my friends would ask to borrow a crayon. And, you know, even if they asked to borrow one of my absolute favorites, like Razzle Dazzle Rose, I'd be happy because, you know, I loved my friend and I wanted them to experience that fun and joy too. But, you know, it's a lot harder when someone who's mean asks to borrow one. You know, I wouldn't mind giving away a color I didn't like as much, like brick red, to someone who had been mean to me. But if someone who was mean to me wanted one of my favorite colors, that's really, really hard to do. Has that ever happened to you? Have you ever had to do something nice for someone that was mean to you? It's a lot harder to do something nice to someone who's been mean to you than it is to do something nice for one of your friends. Jesus knew that too. But Jesus told his disciples, his friends who were learning from him, that they weren't just supposed to love their friends. They were supposed to love the really mean kids too. And sometimes loving people means doing nice things for them, like letting them use your favorite color of crayon, even if you know that they wouldn't do the same thing for you. And you know, they might not even give it back when you want them to. This is a really hard thing to do. And you know, sometimes we don't always feel like doing it. But what matters, even if we don't feel really warm and fuzzy about it, is that we keep being kind to people no matter what, even if they've been mean to us. Because that is what Jesus taught us. So I hope this week, you'll have a moment when you'll do something nice for someone, even if it's someone that isn't very nice to you. Let's pray. God, thank you that you love us. Jesus, thank you for teaching us to live, even though some of the things that you've asked us to do are really hard. Please help us. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen.